Good day. Good day. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I think I covered them all. Uh, this is the update. Touch number one. Baby's out the egg. And they've all had their first shed. And so we'll just start. We got six of them here. And we've got a little little pastel. Hit for Exantic. Jollof line. Now the dad of this clutch, let's see. Let me double check it here. The dad of this clutch is the feller that we're Yep, little girl. Is the fella we're not exactly sure what he is. But this girl I think is just a straight pastel. Oh are you hungry? Well, dinner time will be tomorrow. Alright. We get the next one, which is uh, very similar to the dad. So we really don't know what he is. Yep, this one's a boy. Head for Exantic, of course. Mama was a pastel Exantic. Mr. Fly, get out of here. So very similar to what dad looked like. And uh, definitely does not look like Mojave. We know the granddad had Mojave. So I've heard people say, ah, oh, maybe lesser. But if the dad had Mojave and he had lesser, he would be white. Because he'd be a blue eye. And he is not. So here's one of the genetics, the gene. That we're not exactly sure what it is. And now, those are the two that are het for Exantic. The next four here are Exantic. Come on, little one. And this girl, yep, that girl, actually, to me, looks like she has calico in her. You can see how the coloration comes up the side and a little bit darker up there. But it doesn't look like street calico. And neither of the parents that I know of had the calico gene. It's definitely exantic. Definitely not a normal exantic. Could be pastel, but the head's not colored out or whitened out like a pastel so not exactly sure what this one is so this one might be staying here unless the wife says no she just ran away <laughs> guess that means yes then must mean yes yeah <laughs> if the wife if the wife's not here to say no when I say we're keeping it it must be yes but but money does talk. And none of these have even eaten yet. So none will be yet for sale until they're, they're eating, eating good. Here's number four. This one, Exantic also. Pastel. I'm pretty sure pastel because the way the head's uh, more blushed out. So I'm thinking... Nice blushing down here. I'm not 100%, but I'm thinking Exantic Pastel. But, from the last Exantic Pastels I had, I think it looks a little bit better. We'll just set that one down. We'll get another one out. <clears throat> This one is Exantic also, and it has the markings of the other fellow that we don't know what it is. 
So this one is, is we're thinking, is exantic plus the other gene. And that one looks like it wants to eat me. I know, little one. So, very nice. Nice side patterning. I'll put you down. Put you down here. So we can get a comparison. Should have left the other one out. And the last one here. Exantic also. But it's more of a whacked out pattern. Alien heads all got a nice stripy pattern. Does not have a blushed out head though, so similar yet not similar. Well, let's get this other exantic out so we can compare all the exantics. <clears throat> So there we go. For Xantics, not being 100% sure on any of them, and this is the uh, the head Xantic. Pull that pastel out too, just to have an eyeball of her. So, see how blushed out the head is compared to these two, these three. That could get me to think that this one's pastel. these to you mixed in with this one somehow whatever gene this one is and this one does look like it has the calico in it now one of the parents down the line from the mother was a Bumblebee that I got back in 2012 from Garrick de Meyer sold as a bumblebee no sign of calico yet in two different clutches of his we had calicos so there's not to say that the mother is not a low expression Exantic pastel calico. Because I'm thinking there's no way another genetic could have just popped up. And we are not sure what we got going, but we are going to try. Come back to the snakes. <laughs>